A lot of these ingredients for these freezer meals you may already have in your pantry, fridge, and freezer. Are you ready? Aprons on, let's go. Whenever I make freezer meals and it calls for chicken breasts, I love just using already frozen chicken. It's easier, it's not slimy when I touch it, just dump it in the bags and go. Next are Thai lettuce wraps. Have two pounds, about four boneless, skinless chicken breasts. From your pantry, you'll need chicken stock or broth, honey, peanut butter, soy sauce, and onion. From your fridge, two bell peppers, either red, yellow, or orange. I'm gonna do a little bit of all three. And lemon juice. The day you cook this, you'll just need some buttered lettuce. Slice up your bell peppers and chop up your onion. To your bag, combine the onion, then add one half cup chicken broth, one fourth cup soy sauce, one half tablespoon of the lime juice, two tablespoons of honey, one half cup chunky or smooth peanut butter. Seal up the bag and just start mushing it around, give it a good mix. Then add the bell peppers and the chicken. Seal up the bag, again, give it a good little mix. Get as much of the air out as you can and freeze flat. On cooking day, add to the slow cooker, cook on low up to six hours, could be four to six, and high between three to four. When it's ready, just take a fork and just start shredding up your chicken. Spoon the yummy chicken mixture onto your your lettuce and you can garnish it with some green onion. You can also sprinkle on some peanuts and cilantro. Then just roll up and enjoy. For these barbecue chicken street tacos, you will need four small boneless chicken breasts, two cups of barbecue sauce, a 15 ounce can of black beans, a chopped red onion, or a half of one depending on the size of your onion, corn tortillas, and to garnish some shredded cheddar cheese and chopped cilantro. To prepare to freeze these, of course I'm gonna mark my bag with all the cooking directions and anything I need to add when it's time to cook. To my gallon Ziploc bag, I'm gonna add the four boneless chicken breasts, your two cups of barbecue sauce. I actually used two cans of black beans in this recipe and it was perfect. One can would have been too little. I drained and rinsed my black beans and then added them to the bag. But according to the freezer directions that the cookbook has, it just says a 15 ounce can of black beans. So you probably don't even need to drain them. But I did anyway. Add your chopped onion, then I'm going to mix this all together in the Ziploc bag and then get all the air out. When you're ready to serve this up, thaw in a fridge overnight, then add this to your slow cooker. In the directions on the bag, I did say to add a fourth cup to a half cup of water to thin out the sauce. Set your slow cooker on low for eight hours. When it's done, shred the chicken and make yummy street tacos. Add any condiments you want. Derek really enjoyed this. He likes to add sour cream. I also liked putting the green onions on this as well. Serve up and enjoy. We have slow cooker chicken enchilada soup. You will need three boneless chicken breasts, a 15 ounce can of pinto beans and black beans, and a 15 ounce can of diced tomatoes with green chilies, one packet of taco seasoning, a tablespoon of chili powder, two cups of chicken stock, which is a whole can, and salt and pepper, along with one can of tomato paste. For a garnish, you can use some Monterey Jack cheese. Even some cilantro would be good. Okay, to prepare to freeze, you can mark a big gallon Ziploc bag, or you you can use a container. Open up all your cans and then to your Ziploc bag add your chicken breast, your beans, your tomatoes, and your tomato paste. Then sprinkle in your taco seasoning, your chili powder, and your chicken stock. And salt and pepper to taste. Give it a good mix in the bag. My tip for you is to have this one standing up in your freezer and not laying down. So if you don't have a container and need to use your Ziploc bag, stand it up in the freezer so that way there's more room to expand with this soup. This can last in your freezer for six months and your deep freeze for 12. When you transfer this to the slow cooker, add about three or four cups of hot water and then cook on low for eight hours. Then you will shred your chicken and mix it all up in your soup. You can season it more with salt and pepper if it needs it. Pour yourself a bowl and garnish with your Monterey Jack cheese. This is super delicious. Let's make chicken and broccoli alfredo. You'll need two pounds of boneless, skinless chicken breast. From our freezer, we'll need two 10 to 12 ounce bags of broccoli florets. From our fridge, we'll need one green bell pepper, one half cup of cooked crumbled bacon, that's about five strips, and two 16 ounce jars of your favorite alfredo. To your bag, add your chicken, fresh or frozen. Add in your frozen broccoli, then add your diced green pepper and crumbled up bacon. Then pour in both jars of your Alfredo sauce. Get the air out of your bag, seal it up really good, give it a good little mush. 
This is so quick and so easy to put together. You could take this out the day before, put it in your refrigerator, but the day of, just throw it in your slow cooker. Cook for six to seven hours on low or a high for three to four. When it's done, you could break up your chicken right there in the slow cooker. Cook up your favorite pasta. We like to do it over bow tie. And you can sprinkle it with Parmesan cheese. This is so easy, so delicious and filling. This is sweet fire chicken. For this recipe, you're gonna need three to four chicken breasts chopped, but I'm using frozen chicken breasts. You're gonna need to mince up some garlic, have some chopped red peppers, water. You're gonna need to drain some pineapple chunks or tidbits, some sweet red chili sauce, some red pepper flakes, sugar, salt. Yeah, let's get it all in the bag. I am going to pour the water in. So I'm just gonna mince up the garlic. It says two teaspoons. I don't really measure garlic because garlic is amazing. You're gonna need one to two teaspoons of the red pepper flakes. Then you'll need two thirds cup sugar. Then we're gonna add the two tablespoons of the sweet red chili and then the half a teaspoon of salt. This is where we need to whisk, help dissolve that sugar. You know, I probably didn't need to use a whole cup of water because I have frozen chicken breasts. This smells so good. <laughs> All right, add your chicken. What, I'm probably gonna shred this chicken when I cook it and instead of having it cubed, it's gonna taste good. And then we're gonna add our peppers. So I'm just draining this pineapple can and I'm definitely gonna save the juice. I do have a ham going in my slow cooker right now, so I'm gonna probably pour some of this in. If you're not gonna use your juice for any recipe right away, you can put it in a container and freeze it. So it was a 20 ounce can that we're using, and it's pineapple chunks, and we're gonna add that in there. Get the air out as best as you can. So you can lay this down in your freezer on a cookie sheet or a cutting board and let it freeze so it doesn't get stuck on if you have a freezer with the slats. All right, so this is going in the freezer. Sweet fire chicken. For this recipe, I am willing to bet that you have everything already on your shelves. We're gonna make honey sesame chicken. Low three and one half hours. So I'm gonna add two pounds of boneless skinless chicken thighs. I'm gonna add the onion and the garlic. So this is two tablespoons of the vegetable oil, a half a cup of honey. I'm gonna add a half a cup of the soy sauce, fourth a cup of ketchup, and then a fourth a teaspoon of the red pepper flakes, and then just salt and pepper to taste. I'm just gonna do a little of this, do a little of that. The sesame part is just adding sesame seeds on the day you cook it. And just make sure you get all the air out. I'm gonna go lay this down in my freezer and we have honey sesame chicken. All right, the next recipe is the sweet teriyaki chicken. So with this chicken recipe, it's gonna be uh, on low two to three hours. And then you need to really watch the recipe because it says that after that, you're gonna take it out, put cornstarch in your water and get it thick and you're gonna add your chicken back in to the sauce and let it cook for another 20 minutes. We're gonna need two pounds of boneless, skinless chicken thighs. And of course, you can use frozen chicken with any of these recipes. One diced onion, a couple of cloves of garlic minced. All right, a half a cup of the soy sauce and then a half a cup of that honey. Do you guys like rice vinegar? I do. So we're gonna need a fourth a cup of this. You need about a fourth a teaspoon of the ground pepper, a tablespoon of the ginger. Mush this together. Get that honey and ginger worked in there. It smells so good, you guys. What are some of your favorite Asian-inspired dishes that you already make that you know you could freeze? After the two to three hours, you can cut the chicken into bite-sized pieces, and then gonna mix the water a fourth cup of water with two tablespoons of cornstarch put it in the slow cooker thicken that up and then put the chicken back in and let it cook for another 20 minutes can you imagine this over a medley of vegetables that you would normally do for like a stir fry oh yum so there we have it sweet teriyaki chicken for the freezer this next recipe is orange pepper chicken wings or you could do drumsticks i am using drumsticks today low for four hours. So either eight large wings or drumsticks. Now I know you could use smaller, like the little petite drumsticks. We want some meat to feed the family. Here's the one third cup honey, the two tablespoons of the orange juice, three tablespoons of soy sauce, 
and then the tablespoon of rice vinegar. Okay, one half tablespoon of the pepper flakes. That's gonna be spicy. Woo. You can use the powder ground ginger, fresh ginger, or the already minced ginger. I'm gonna use this, and I'll need two tablespoons. All right, let's get the air out. And we'll get this in the freezer. In the freezer this goes. We're doing chicken cacciatore. This could be cooked in the slow cooker or on the stove top. So for this recipe, you'll need four chicken breasts, a jar of spaghetti sauce, can of diced tomatoes, and we're gonna use the one with basil, garlic, and oregano, some garlic powder, a box of pasta, an onion, and bell pepper chopped up. Some pastas don't work out when freezer meals pre-cooked. If you do wanna use them, I would cook them till they're very al dente, but for for this recipe, we're not gonna add the noodles to the freezer meal bag. We're just gonna keep this in our cupboard and have it ready for when we cook the chicken cacciatore. When I use noodles for my lazy man lasagna, it turns out well, but for your soups and things, it, it doesn't work very well at all. So we're gonna need four chicken breasts. When cook this up in the slow cooker, shred the chicken. So if you don't think four is gonna be enough to feed your family after shredding, then just throw in another breast. Let's add our bell peppers and onions to the bag. Okay, we're gonna add a jar of the spaghetti sauce. Add your diced tomatoes and a teaspoon of the garlic powder. I'm not even gonna measure it. You can't go wrong with garlic powder. Cook it on high for four hours or low six to eight. Serve it up with a salad, some garlic bread, yum. And there we have it, chicken cacciatore. This next recipe is Mexican chicken chili. You could do it in the slow cooker or on the stove top. You'll need a pound of chicken breasts cans of corn, rotel, diced tomatoes, black beans, and kidney beans, a package of taco seasoning, and 32 ounces of chicken broth. Add one cup of chopped onion and a teaspoon of the garlic powder. Just start dumping everything in. The recipe that I have doesn't say anything about draining the beans, but I did. I didn't wanna to add too much liquid to this because we're gonna have plenty of liquid from the chicken broth and when we thaw this out. So get all the air out as best you can, but we're gonna sit this in our refrigerator, not lay it flat. Um, this is when I like the two gallon Ziploc bags if you're gonna use it for soup because there's lots of room to lay it down and let the soup expand. If you don't wanna lay it down, just sit it upright in your freezer and it does beautifully. Two gallon Ziploc bags work really good for soup. So just add all the ingredients in, give it a little mix. So to cook this, you can cook on low for up to eight hours or high for four. Then you'll remove the chicken, shred it with a fork, and add it back into the slow cooker. You could serve with crumbled tortilla chips, sour cream, jalapenos, avocado, and shredded cheese. Yum and boom, you have Mexican chicken chili. Next up is honey mustard chicken. This is a really easy recipe. All you need is chicken breasts, honey, Dijon mustard, and stone ground mustard. So I used probably a third or two thirds cup of mustard. It really doesn't matter, it tastes all good in there. And then I did probably about a tablespoon or more of the stone ground mustard, and then about two tablespoons of the honey. Again, the measurements are all to your liking, so have fun with it. So then I took the bag out of the bowl, gave it a good mush, because I wanted to mix those ingredients really well before I added the chicken into the bag. So put as many chicken breasts as you want in there to, that will feed your family, and give it a good mix and coat your chicken well, and toss that baby in the freezer. So when you take it out to thaw it, and it's completely thawed, yes, it'll be a little runny. Just add a little more fresh mustard in there before you cook it up. Now you could bake this in your oven or in your slow cooker. Serve it up with some of this frozen broccoli. This recipe is a crock pot honey chicken. We're gonna take the carrots and chop them up and get two cups full. All right, I'm adding the chicken breasts in the bag. Put as many that will feed your family. And then we're gonna add the carrots. And you can also use any other veggie of your choosing as well. You're gonna have a half cup of that soy sauce go right into the bag. And then you're gonna need a half a cup of the ketchup. Yum. And then you'll need a half cup of honey. Mm, mm, mm. Get your three cloves of garlic in here as well. Mincing it is just easier or you could finely chop it, whatever you wanna do. And lastly, we need that basil. And that is a tablespoon of dried basil. 
seal up your bag. Take this out like the night before, put it in your fridge to thaw. Get it in your slow cooker. You can cook it on low for three to four hours. If it's still partly frozen, just cook it longer. Okay, and then you could serve this up with rice or some steamed broccoli. That sauce would be so good with broccoli. Yum, crock pot honey chicken going in the freezer. Next, we're gonna make a slow cooker Italian chicken. To your bag, you're gonna add your chicken breasts. Don't worry about cutting them. They'll end up shredding in your slow cooker when you go to cook them. Just get them in there. To this, we're gonna add about five ounces of spinach. This is an eight ounce bag, so it's a couple good handfuls. That looks good. And then you add your cans of tomato sauce, two eight ounce cans. I have the one, so I'm just gonna add the one in and then some spaghetti sauce. It's just a little thicker. It's all good. Eight ounces of that. A tablespoon of brown sugar. And then two tablespoons of the olive oil. Let's dice up our onion. Then add your onions in. Basically, it's dump and go, guys. There's like no rhyme or reason or order. Just get it in. Then you're going to add a tablespoon of that Italian seasoning. Okay, half a teaspoon of that garlic powder and a half a teaspoon of salt, a fourth a teaspoon of pepper, and then a fourth a teaspoon of crushed red pepper. Give this a good mix. So what you'll end up doing with this Italian chicken is you can serve it over spaghetti and with a side of garlic bread. Got a very hearty Italian chicken dinner. Yummy honey garlic chicken. Okay, you're gonna need two pounds of chicken breasts. You'll need a half cup of soy sauce. I have a little left in this bottle, so I'm gonna use up that first. And then you'll need a half cup of raw honey. You'll also need a fourth cup of ketchup. You'll need a tablespoon of Dijon mustard, a teaspoon of paprika, one teaspoon of crushed red pepper flakes, and we're gonna use some cornstarch to help thicken this up. So we're gonna need three tablespoons of cornstarch. Now we're gonna mince up six cloves of garlic. Oh, it takes muscles to mince garlic. Okay, add your garlic in. I got a little bit of the air out, but we need to mix this all up. Incorporate that cornstarch in there. Give it a little massage. Yum. Now I'm gonna get the air out. You can lay it flat in your freezer, just like this. Then you can stack it in your freezer later once it's all frozen. But our honey garlic chicken is all ready for the freezer. After you thawed your freezer meal, add it to your slow cooker, and you can cook this on high for a couple of hours or low to four to six. If it's still partially frozen, which is fine, you can keep it on low for four to six. That sauce is gonna be so good over any veggie. You're gonna shred up your chicken, but I'm gonna use my mixer to help me with that. I'm not gonna like majorly shred it. You could chop it if you want, just how you wanna use it with your vegetables but I'm using it like a stir fry over rice. So I do want it a little shredded, but not finely shred. Cooked up some jasmine rice. And we always have a bag of stir fry veggies in our freezer. So we've got broccoli and water chestnuts and squash and green beans and carrots and red peppers. Oh, and mushrooms. Oh yes, it smells amazing. This is so filling and the flavor is amazing. Mmm, mm, look at that. Honey garlic chicken. Perfect weeknight dinner. It's quick and the flavor is out of this world. So good. Oh, have some leftovers for lunch during the week. Your family's going to love this. This next recipe is a slow cooker chicken pot pie. And the cool thing is that your yummy buttery crust, we're actually gonna be using tater tots. You're going to need a pound of cut up chicken, like in bite sizes. You're gonna need a bag of fresh mixed vegetables, and then you need tater tots. So this is gonna go in when you go to make it a slow cooker meal. As a freezer meal, all that we need to cook up is the sauce, and then we're gonna let it cool before we add it in with the bag and the chicken and vegetables. So let's get going on the sauce. 
First, we're gonna dice up two small onions. To the saucepan, I added about a fourth cup of butter. With your melted butter, you're gonna add your onions in, and we're gonna cook them until they're translucent. Once they are soft, you're gonna need a fourth cup of flour. Mix that with the onions. We wanna cook out that flour, and this is going to thicken the sauce. So while that's also doing that, let's add the seasonings in. A half a teaspoon of salt. A half a teaspoon of celery seed. A half a teaspoon of black pepper. Do a half a teaspoon of poultry seasoning. Mix this. Oh, that smells so good. I love poultry seasoning. Okay, so now we're gonna add some milk and chicken broth. So you're gonna add one cup of milk. I am using 2%. You can use whatever you have on hand. And then two cups of chicken stock or broth. Okay, let's whisk that in. So once it boils, we're gonna let it simmer and then thicken for about five minutes. This thickened up real good. Okay, I'm just gonna let this cool off before I put it in the bag and get it in the freezer. We're gonna combine the chicken, the veggies, and our now cooled off sauce and put it in the Ziploc bag. And then the tater tots go on top of the chicken mixture when you go to cook it. To our chicken, add that in. So this is just carrots, corn, green beans, and peas. And now we're going to pour in our sauce. And this is going to cook in the slow cooker for about six to eight hours until that chicken is done, cooked through. Now, if you don't want to use the tater tots, of course, just bag up this chicken pot pie mixture and get your pie crust going when you want to make it. So you don't want to do the tater tots. But this is a great chicken pot pie filling ready to have in the freezer. So I'm going to get this in another bag. I have the directions on the mixture bag. And I'm gonna see if I can fit this big bag of tater tots in there so that it's all together. The chicken pot pie recipe ready to go. Next up, we're gonna make a slow cooker Thai peanut chicken. Okay, we're gonna take our bell pepper and our onions and we're gonna dice them into about one inch pieces. We're gonna put this meal in a Ziploc bag. I've already labeled it. To your Ziploc bag, add your chicken, add your onions and peppers, and you'll need two cups of any Thai peanut sauce. This is 12 ounces, so we're short a few ounces, but that's okay. This is delicious. This can last six months in your freezer. If you have a really deep freezer, it can last a year. When you're ready to cook it, you could put it in the refrigerator the night before, and on the day you make it, all you need to do is thicken it with some cornstarch and water at the end. Cook this up with rice, prepare your favorite veggies, just garnish it with some chopped peanuts. This is gonna be so good. This next recipe is slow cooker fiesta crack chicken. Chop up a red and green bell pepper. In your Ziploc bag, add four chicken breasts. Add your chopped peppers in. Now you're going to add a packet of ranch dressing and taco seasoning. So if you have the big guys like I do, it's basically three tablespoons of each. Add your can of crushed tomatoes and then add your bar of cream cheese in. Don't worry about cubing it. It's gonna break down in the cooking process and when you shred, just get it in there. This is gonna make a yummy, filling big meal. You can have it with rice, you can have it in flour tortillas, tacos. Either way you do this, it's gonna be so good. Fiesta cracked chicken, going in the freezer. This recipe is tropical chicken. So you're gonna need four small chicken breasts, some salt, and pepper. You'll also need a cup of orange juice. You need a half cup of lime juice. I don't have a fresh lime, but I do have this. And then we'll need a fourth cup of brown sugar. You'll need a tablespoon of cumin, and we'll need a teaspoon of paprika. A 20 ounce can of sliced pineapple. I'm gonna use a can of the pineapple tidbits. Add this in. You could serve this over rice. Add any veggies that you like. And voila, you have a yummy slow cooker island chicken. Ooh, this is so good. This is creamy Tuscan chicken. You're gonna love it. You're gonna need four boneless, skinless chicken breasts. These are two huge ones that I have here, so I'm only doing two. You'll need a bag of spinach or a box of frozen spinach, a jar of sun-dried tomatoes, 
Okay, we're not gonna use the liquid in the sun-dried tomatoes. We're gonna take these out and cut them into strips or chop them up, either way you wanna do it. To your bag, add your sun-dried tomatoes. Then you're going to need a jar of Alfredo sauce. And then you'll need a teaspoon of minced garlic. So that's pretty much like a clove or two. So this could cook up to eight hours as well. Again, all these meals depend on your slow cooker. And then you can garnish it with some grated Parmesan cheese. You could serve this over pasta and with salad. Oh, it's so flavorful and so good. You're gonna love it. This last recipe is Mississippi chicken. I'm working with boneless, skinless chicken thighs and you'll need about three pounds. Then you'll need a packet of the Hidden Valley Ranch seasoning or if you get it in a container like this, three tablespoons. You can use a packet of brown gravy mix or an au jus packet. That in there. I'm just gonna pour all this on. Even though there's nothing to keep it wet, it's fine. When I take it out of the freezer and throw it in the slow cooker. It's all gonna combine, it's gonna be great, it's all gonna cook together. Then we'll need six pepperoncini peppers. So then I'm gonna throw in my pepperoncini. So you need a half a stick of butter. And just cube it up, throw it in there. We got Mississippi chicken ready to go. Throw it in the slow cooker. I cook it on low for four to five hours. Mississippi chicken, done. Phew, you made it through the video. Are you excited to get your freezer full of yummy, delicious meals? I hope you are. If you need more freezer meal ideas, click on the videos here. I have tons of breakfast, lunch, even snacks for you. I'll meet you over there. Thank you so much for joining me. We'll see you soon. Bye.